Huh? That is. And, um, two really close wins. Was it? No, it was against edging. Both, both against Shores. I think they were both three point, three stroke wins too. Now, uh, how long of a streak did they have before that, though? Um, I think the last time somebody beat them was in the nineties. Mm -hmm. It's been it's been a long time. They won a lot of city tournaments in a row. So can you just talk about you know a three stroke win? Every shot counts on a day like this. That's what we talk about on a daily basis. That every shot counts. And I told the guys for the past couple of days we wouldn't come down the last couple of holes. You know, whoever could finish out those last couple of holes was going to be the city champ. And um, we we finished out the holes. I mean, Cody Petrosky makes eagle on the last hole. Um, we had a lot of pars on the last few holes, so we I mean we finished strong and we got a three-stroke win. How tough has it been this spring with with a, maybe a slow start with the elements and whatnot? Well, tomorrow we're actually hosting our first practice, so. I mean, we actually haven't had a true team practice yet because we, we don't have any ranges open and it's been so cold. And then we had five matches canceled, so everything's backed up. And we, we played every day last week except for Thursday, which we traveled to Traverse City, and then we've played every day so far this week. So we haven't had a chance to get together as a team and actually go to the range and practice either. So it must take a lot of conditioning, you know, with that, you know, that's a lot of fatigue that can set in playing so many days in a row. Yeah, these guys are golfers. I mean, they, they just, they know how to go out there and grind and, and get through it. I mean, it'll be nice to get in, get some practice, work on a couple things tomorrow, but um, they're grinders. I mean, they'd play again tomorrow if it was if there was a tournament to play in. So can you talk a little bit about Cody Petrosky, you know, a freshman coming out here and shooting a 71 in his first city meet? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, probably the probably the best ball striker in the state, I would say. He's uh, he's really solid. He, he can't putt worth a lick right now, but and as soon as I get a, as soon as we get some putting drills in and he starts potting, yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be tough to beat. I mean, he just hits great iron shots, drives always down the middle of the fairway, can chip, got really soft hands. You know, a couple practices where we get on some putting drills and he gets his putts down to about 32, 31 putts around. Yeah, he's gonna be unbeatable. 